there's a sound nobody really likes to hear coming out of their car and i was kind of worried until a little further let me show you what this sound is 2013 altima the four cylinder uh, kind of sounds like it's top end all right so here's the part we're going after and it's actually installed like that the one on your car does not have this that actually holds the tensioner in place so you can get the belt on before pulling this pin but what you want to grab is this right here, and that's a 17 millimeter. You can see how I have this good old Harbor Freight bar on it there. And so all you got to do is pull, and it gives you some slack, and then you can take the belt off. All right, I got the belt off, and you know that your tensioner is in bad shape whenever you move it forward or move it this way and it stays so, then we're gonna see if we can get this thing out of here so looking at the replacement part looks like I can have a bolt on the left and one on the lower right All right. so if I'm looking correctly no bolt there. Unless that's the maybe that's the hole that the pin goes in, and that's the bolt right there. And then there's the other bolt hiding back there. Gonna be fun. All right, so I've got this bolt out. There's a 13. So I had to use this here to get up in there. Now I'm gonna have to move the tensioner uh, back that way because it's actually covering that next bolt I need to get. All right, I didn't get that out. Here we go. Let's do a side by side. Same overall. There's casting. They're different, but it seems like things are in the same spot. Now, you gotta make sure if your car is electric power steering or if it is regular. If you're not sure if you have electric power steering, that's the reservoir for the electric power steering. The pump is under this cover here that the, some rats have eaten. All right, so that is where it was sitting. You can see that's the two holes that it was using. New pieces in there. Gonna hand thread the bolts in as far as I can go and tighten them down. Reroute the belt. Now after an hour, yes, an hour of fighting to get that little that nut there so you can move the tensioner, I finally got the belt on. I had to take the grinder and cut the 17 because it would not fit in there. Tried to use box and wrenches and they would slip because the pulley keeps the wrench from getting all the way down. And I also have a slight bend in this tool so it would fit in there and I could get the tension off. Because once uh, when I pulled the pin, the belt was not in place and so the pin did me no good. So my shirt is completely wet because it is in the 90s and I'm sure the humidity has got to be 100%, maybe 150%. Feels like I took a bath out here. 
But yeah, if you're gonna do this job, find a 17 that you can sacrifice. And uh, you know, Harbor Freight tool there, go ahead and put a little bend in it and that'll help you get it in place, get the tension off. So hope this helps if you got that clicking and it and your motor about to blow up. Could be your tensioner bad. So thank you guys for watching.